In this video, I'm going to cover a pivot table solve order problem. And this happens when you create calculated items. So let's look at the scenario. Let's say you're an HR analyst and you're working for a mid sized company that offices in different states and you're focusing on people in your company that have identified their gender type. You want to categorize the traditional gender type male, female. So we have a tra traditional here. And you're also looking at people in the mountain states like Arizona and Colorado. You can see here that we have two calculations here, right? We have the calculations of summing up Arizona and Colorado to the mountain states. We have that value. We also have the calculation or the percentage of people in the traditional gender types, male and female. And we added that 23% out of the total here, 30% out of the total here. And we have 50% out of the total here. But that doesn't seem right because we want to look at the percentage types of those two gender types in the mountain states. And 50% is not the correct value, right? If the correct value is we have 250 total here, right? And then we have 67 of the male and female, and that should be 27%. Why do we get that 50%? It's because of the way that calculated items are set up. So we have a calculated item here, mountain, and we have a calculated item here, traditional, and the solve order, and that's the clue, is the one that is causing the problem. So it's easy enough to go into here and get go into pivot table, go to field items, and you click on the solve order and you rearrange it. And you can just rearrange it, right? You move this down, click close, and it turns out to be 27%, right? And so that solves the problem. But if you wanted to kind of get into how we got into this issue in the first place and creating the calculated items and get into this issue, I'll show you how. Here we have the data that filled out that pivot table. I'm going to turn this into a pivot table and we're going to go through that steps to see how we got into that predicament, how our HR analysts got into that predicament. So I selected my range here. So Excel was smart enough to figure out this is the range that I want to create my pivot table. I want to insert pivot table, click OK. It's going to put onto a new sheet and I will fill out my gender here for the rows and the state for the columns. You can see there's different states here and I'll just use the name as the counts, right? So that we have our counts. Let's get rid of our grand totals. I don't need those. Go under design and let's get rid of the grand totals off for the rows. I'm going to make double click the columns here to auto fit, right? And so what I want to do is I want to make calculated items that add up Arizona and Colorado and make that mountain states and have male and female as the uh, traditional row. So I need to go under pivot table, analyze field settings, items, you can see it's grayed out is because I need to select in the field here. I have to click in my field here and go under few items and sets, click calculated item here. We'll call this traditional. And this was a percentage, right? So it was supposed to be the sum of the male and female. That those are traditional rows divided by the sum of all the other rows, right? To get our percentage of the male and few, the traditional rows over the total. So I do some open parentheses. We have our male and then comma female close parentheses divided by the sum open parentheses of the rest. So I just click on that comma that comma that comma that comma comma that comma that comma and that one. So that's the last one. All right, close parentheses, click OK. Oops. I'll click on OK. And now I have my percentages. Go to home, percentage. Now I'll do the same for my mountain state here. Click on pivot table, field items, calculated items. Mountain equals Arizona plus Colorado. Okay. And then we'll filter for Arizona, Colorado, and Mountain. So now we see we have our same issue here, right? Because we did the traditional step first, created that calculated item first, and then created our mountain item second. And that's why it, it made that the last calculation, right? So all you need to do is go under pivot table 
and go to the field items, go to the solve order, and move it, right? So you just move it down. And that's what it's doing, right? If you look at the note here, it says if the value of the pivot table cell is affected by two or more calculated items, we have one here on the vertical and then another one the horizontal, it's gonna use the last one. So if we move it down, click close, that fixes it. So that's how we solve our problem when we have a pivot table and we're using calculated items, more than one, maybe one for the horizontal, one for the vertical and one for the horizontal. We have to be aware of our solve order and that's what's probably causing some calculation or miscalculations. And that's because the order of the calculations are not correctly placed. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.